I get trapped within you again How come I am the one who's enslaved by you now? So wait, what the fuck is this weeb shit you've dropped on my desk this time? But this was your idea! Oh yeah, it was. I love this game. <laughs> Alright, so this is Seduce Me the Otome. Which, which is not the full title, it's literally just Seduce Me the Video the Game. Otome. The Otome Game. I have not played this game despite me being a visual novel expert. This is one of the few visual novels I have played. I only played it because it was free and it looked weird and I was like, you know what? I've got nothing to do this afternoon. And then three hours later, I was in love. But who was Not with the character. I oh, meant the game. Which I meant guy? the game. Which no, guy? no. I was in love with the terrific acting. The terrific, amazing writing. It was so good. Yeah, and he won't let me watch this whole goddamn bad. trailer. This song's not bad. I want to watch this whole trailer, but he won't let me. He says spoilers, but it's like... No, we'll watch it. We'll watch it. Also featuring the voices of lots of other people. People you don't know. I mean, if we recognise the name, we'll say yay. Didn't you mention that the voice actress for Yandere Chan is the developer of this game? Yeah, Michelle Lelos. Yeah. At least I think it's the same person. Might be, might be a coincidence. We'd have to look in. Oh, wait, you looked it up, didn't you? See if it's the same person? No, no, it is. Oh, okay. Oh, well, that's the that's the intro. <laughs> yeah, that's the game. Right, we're done. <laughs> no, you sit your ass back down. Oh, but I've already seen half of this stuff. No, you haven't. All right, this is a fictional interactive narrative. Any character's resemblance to real-life people are purely coincidental. Also, please note that the following game is made for PG-16 audiences. So it's please not YouTube-ready. Please know that sexual or violent themes are explored in this game. Trigger warnings, abuse, implied rape, and suicide. You have been warned. Please enjoy. So we're not being monetized for this Why, video. hello. My, aren't you a gorgeous sight? Oh, Can I be honored around. enough to know your name? No. <laughs> oh, I'm Ray. Isabel. No, no, no. Snake. <clears throat> Solid snake. Come on. Mm, hold on, hold on. Liquid? Ocelot? Gassy Isabel. No, no, that sounds terrible. Let's just go with Isabel. We discussed it off screen of like what's a good meme DM, and it's like Isabel's pretty meme with these tears. I mean, we might as well just call her Smash. Ready to smash. Mm, right. A lovely name for a lovely person like you. I wonder what Wonderful. it would change if you named it after someone in the game. Don't think so, no. Eric, is it, do not everybody job. can be Undertale. <laughs> well, not. Undertale didn't, isn't the only one that does it. There is well, Undertale game is the only one I know of that does it. I can't think of the other one, but I know there's at least one other where you can name your characters after someone in the game. I don't remember what it was, but there was a game where if you typed in a swear word, it would it tell you, yeah, it would tell you it off. It <laughs> <laughs> whack the squ squat sword. No, no, it was, it was a game where if you typed in a swear word, it would replace the profile name with... If you typed in ass, it would replace it with Yubi. It was a Ubisoft game. <laughs> <laughs> Ubi and ass. Uh, <laughs> Very well. This game was produced by Seraphim Entertainment under the direction of Michaela Long <sighs> and is powered by Renpai Visual Novel Engine. We truly hope you'll enjoy this story. I know I'll enjoy it since you'll be in it. <laughs> Ooh, you saucy motherfucker. When all you want to do is play Smash. All right, you saucy motherfucker, Eric. let's do this. Fine, fine. Like, I would still question Mark, <laughs> even though he well, said Eric. Sweet. Yep. It's like, but we know But who name. is this Eric? What is his last name? Da. He's probably <sighs> the one getting bitch slapped or spanked. Come on. What is that noise? Is that, is that a pop gun? It sounds like someone being asshole. spanked. Hey, now. <laughs> Not yet. There might be Boy, kids. wait for it. Oh, Jesus. Okay, yeah, that's a gun. Okay, that's a real gun sound effect. Crap! Missed. Let's retreat for now. No yeah, because we were Let's winning before. Exactly. <laughs> that's right. You better run, you stupid punks. Stay out of our territory. My question is, I have no idea who's who. Because it just says, question mark, question mark, question mark. Yep. 
Call it a fate or call it coincidence. That one moment of violence started a chain of events that I will never forget. This formula, created in the 70s, is one of the most important in the field of financial theory. Um, I didn't come here to learn. I came here to play Zelda. It is used to calculate the price of your It is used to calculate the price. Blah, blah, blah. We don't care. <laughs> rain. It's been a long time since I've gotten rain around here. But it is the season for rainy weather, so it's not exactly that surprising. Personally, I love the sound of it. The way the raindrops fell, like soft tapping of fingers. It was so soothing. Even look at the drop even looking at the droplets hit the window oh, was strangely calming. For this reason, I felt lucky for having a seat next to the window, though I did spend more time staring outside than I did pay te paying attention in class. The lectures in class were boring. fucking boring. Mrs. Phillips' voice was sulfuric, but I just wasn't I'm, interested I'm in what she was saying. I'm going to go to sleep. Her lectures are just too much. You're falling off the you're chair. You're literally falling out of your chair. Come on. <laughs> Stop now. And since it was the period right before lunch, all I could think about was that sweet, sweet mac and cheese. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't really care much for economics. Sure, I have good grades in this class, but it was really only because I read the textbook and did the assignments as I had to, you know, the thing that all the students are doing. It was only taking this class because it was mandatory. If it were up to me, I would probably have taken another course. Why is financials mandatory? Because she's in business? <laughs> yes, so maybe it's a business school. Luckily, it was my senior year, so after this semester, it would mean the end of high school courses forever. Thank God for that. I didn't hate high school. It was just kind of mundane how the days drifted on as if there was no end to them. The only thing I really enjoyed about going to school was meeting my friends and hanging out with them. Dicking around, you know, playing cards against humanity. In short, I was done with high school. The start of second semester brought a note of finality to it. I had already applied to many universities the semester prior, and I was expecting a reply sometime in the next few months. It seems like the start of something new, something that would change. That is, if things could change. I stared at the faint outline of raindrops in the distance. For now, I was stuck in this fucking class. Miss Anderson. Mr. Anderson, I notice you're not paying attention. <laughs> Just when I was thinking about class, I quickly turned my head to face the teacher. She had acquired sunglasses for some from somewhere. Hopefully, she didn't pick my. <laughs> Hopefully, she didn't notice that I was spacing out. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, audience. We lost an hour of footage because the fucking power cut out, and Zoe is not paying attention at all. I'm listening. Do you have anything to see about what you can see right now? I fucking hate the way her boobs look. <laughs> look, look, she's sensitive <laughs> about the fact that one is bigger than the other, alright? Don't draw attention but to like it. But like I said, oh yeah, in the lost footage, that bit is the part that bugs me. Like, that particular side, the, from where she's standing, it would be the left side. Yeah. Because it should be more tilted towards mm -hmm. the camera. You know. Instead, so, it kind of looks like she's standing straight on, but she's you, not. You know, putting your finger on the TV and drawing an outline plays really well for you. I know, you. that's why I was trying to explain it. <laughs> uh, yes? Would you care to name the equation I set up on the blackboard? Uh, By some guys called Hulk and Beck? I think I read about that in a textbook last night. It should be... Black and Skulls. The Black Skulls model Very formula. Very good as always, Miss Anderson. Hey, at least I'm listening to the voices. And the teacher sounds more bored than we are. Yeah. Anderson... Like, wait, us or Mika? I mean, Isabel. Both. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Anderson. It followed me wherever I went. Most people didn't really know me by my first name, but rather by my surname. It was a convenient excuse to let the player choose what their name for the character, but never actually have to have it said in dialogue. Exactly. Only written. No doubt since the name was the trademark of an internationally famous and philanthropic Anderson family toys, and because the founder was my grandfather. Suzu? One of my best friends turned around and proudly gave me a punch on the shoulder. Ow. <laughs> that you didn't need to actually punch me. <laughs> like, fuck. It's the Brooklyn Italian girl. Apparently. Supposedly. The game claims as much. From besides me, I heard Naomi, another one of my best friends, clearing her throat in obvious disapproval of <laughs> Suzo's choice of words. <clears throat> she means good job, Miss Capini. Oi. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's still funny. <laughs> can, can we have that again, please? Care to tell me who the creator I think there's a button to like reverse I think it's right dial. click. 
can I? Oh, no, that's, no, save. that's the save. <laughs> well, now, well, now we know what that is. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea how to reverse dialogue. I'm not. No, no, let me escape. Uh, scroll. Try scrolling. In in the actual. Scroll. Oh yes, you're right. Oi. <laughs> <laughs> Can you make that Reese's ringtone? <laughs> no, no, come on, we're just gonna move okay. on. Care to tell me who the creators of this formula were? Uh, some guys named Black and Shoals. I don't know what the fuck the auto is, but it doesn't work. Yeah, it's not working. <clears throat> Fisher Black and Myron Shoals. Very good, Miss Patterson. Show off. <laughs> Better study next time, Suzu. Be like us and study once in a while. But I, oh, I know I said this bitch. like plenty of times in the lost footage, but those eyes need to go down. Yeah, yeah. So maybe they're her eyes. They're a little because they're literally just they just erase the bottom half of her eyes, and you can still kind of see the But like, if you outline. look at how Suzu's eyes are like there, they look fine. They look. But the natural. reason why hers are is because the hers are the lower eyes, whereas hers are the upper eyes. Even still, like have the actual eye bit below and the eyebrows be higher. Actually, I'm thinking about it. That's not a thing that the human eye can do. No. <laughs> That's why it looks weird. But all anime art looks weird. Yeah. Uh, Su just draw uh, inklings. Uh, Suzo Why isn't ruled... there an inkling dating sim? Calm down now. <laughs> Suzo rolled her eyes and sl it'll come next year. Slouched <laughs> into her chair as Naomi gave her a small smirk. She always pouted when Naomi That's showed her the up. the end of today's lecture. Now, let's separate into groups and work on your projects. Remember, everything is due on Monday. Go ahead now. Now the thing is, did they start the project today? Or is this a project that they've been working on the whole semester? I don't know, because they just implied they're joining into groups now, so... It's weird. Because if everything's due Monday, you think you would have had the group started before. I don't know. Before I knew it, Susan O and Naomi had scooted their desks to align with mine, and we turned into the three musketeers. Wait, we don't have a third person. Complete Damn with, it! Complete with swords. But you're, we're the third person. What? Oh, you mean in this room? Um. Um. <laughs> there we go. There you go. <laughs> we have Bayonetta. She's come to join us in the LP. That's probably pretty a very weird visual for people watching of just like. These, I, I think these people are crazy. <laughs> well, We're talking they... about the amiibo, obviously. Have We're not, not seen in our CN. Other I just, I just make in CN purchases. Yeah, I want that amiibo. Uh, well, you fucking keep your hands off it. <laughs> I was looking at her ass. <laughs> well, at least you're honest. Whenever the teacher <laughs> let the students decide on groups, we always grouped together in our little trio. It was sheer stroke of luck that we all managed to be in the same class, so we had to at least take the opportunity and stick together as much as we could. Besides, we were most comfortable around each other than, say, compared to being around most of the other classmates. It just made sense for us to put our heads together for any type of project. Even if we do argue most of the time. Hmm. We're friendly arguing. I take out the poster we were working on and roll... We must have been working on this before. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? Like we... the phrasing suggests we've just started working on it. But at the same time, it's like we've been working on it I for think ages. In more, it's more like separate into your pre-arranged groups that mm. you decided in a previous lesson. Um, I took out the poster and opened it up onto the three desks. We were pretty much finished with fulfilling most of the guidelines for the project, but we did still have a few finishing touches here and there. After working on most, of the, after working on making the poster a bit prettier, we sat back and inspected our work to see what we still had to do. Naomi, as usual, was the first to look for any issues. She lightly tapped her pencil against her chin, staring intently at the project. All right, so let's see. We finished the, finished budget, the budget section, the building leasing, and the cost for labor. What else do we need? Uh, uh, company name? What the fuck are you talking about, Naomi? This is mac and cheese. <laughs> Susano straightened up to look at the poster and stroked her chin. After a few seconds, her face brightened as she spoke How about up. a company name? Huh? This Did is gonna get really to weird because we're like kind of trying to reuse a lot of the jokes <laughs> that were in the lost footage and we can't because it sounds weird to see it a second time. Yeah. Damn it, comedy's hard. Like, like that intro? Yep. Huh? 
Did we really skip over that? Of course we did. You always go straight into the logical statistics and stuff, but you completely skip over the fact. We need a name for our project. <sighs> At least we caught it this time. What do we name it? Hmm, not sure. What do you think? Well, both of your names are gonna suck anyways, and I can't put my own in. It always came down to me. Whenever there was something to be named or titled, I was the master and ending decision. That is not a proper sentence. Even when I didn't want to be. I like Trinity Corporation. I would say if I had the choice to name this company, I would call it Boobs and Butts. I would... What is wrong with you? That is I have a preference. Too predictable. Yes, you do. Yes, Dragon you do. <laughs> what do dragons have to do with our project? Apparently she also has a preference. It's fucking dragons. I um, didn't mean to stick that sound the way I did. <laughs> oh god, oh god, that's horrible. Oh no. Oh no, it's that enemy all over again. Which one? You know the one. K Kobayashi? I don't know what that is. Kobayashi sound like... Uh, the Mead one. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> that's the, that's... I, I don't know it's Japanese name. <laughs> what the fuck do you think I am? Mrs. Kobayashi's made dragon. What? I don't even know the fucking Japanese name of Yakuza. Like, what the fuck am I? Yakuza? <laughs> no, it's not. It's not, actually. It's like... Ryoshino Go. It means like a dragon. It translates to like a dragon. I will say one thing, though. She does say that it's hot. Yeah. So I think she does like fucking dragons. Or they burn vague hot. I don't know. It, well, she's got her kinks. Everything will be peachy. Please, let's just move on. But our company sells bubble gum. Spicy bubble gum. I'm sure there's an FDA, <laughs> FDA law against that. What do you think? Well, you know my preference. I don't know, Mr. Mayor. Both of us looked. At, both of them looked at me expectantly, even though I wasn't quite sure myself. I didn't really want to choose sides, but if it were me, to me, I would say. Are we going with the same choices as before? Yeah. May as well. Have you noticed they actually swapped them around? Yeah, I did. <laughs> they were used to be the other way around before. Uh, Trinity Corporation. Bah, fine. Be lame. We will. We'll be lame together, and you can be off on the corner on your own. No, we're going to be laying together. What is wrong with you? <laughs> All right, now that we've time and place, time name. and place. Now what? At least wait until the crooks of the game. All right, now we've decided on a name, now what? As we ended our name game, Giggle scrambled our thoughts. <laughs> huh? Who was that? Could it be my arch rival? It. Dun, dun, dun! Liquid! <laughs> I was, um, was about to make that joke! <laughs> I looked over my shoulder to see Lizette laughing with her circle of friends, mostly comprised of popular people that were practically friends with everyone in the school. And as a result, everyone in the school knew them, which is, yes, that, that, that's, that's how what that means. That's how that works. works, yes. In the center of it all was Lizette White. She sat with a posture that indicated she was still working, but that she was also ready to casually chat about her for, about her day. day. Her fray. She, ha she was the master of the business casual look. <laughs> she had an endearing balance of charismatic and awkward, which was readily apparent when she first talked to someone. It was easy to make her smile and laugh, and she was quite the comedian as well. Basically, she was perfect. Why isn't she the no Why isn't she the protagonist of this visual novel? Isn't that how it usually goes? No, 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 <laughs> no. The protagonist every visual novel where you're a girl dating guys, it has to be the most bland, generic girl. I was under the it's impression. It's like the vice versa with the guy situation. I was under the impression that either had to be the worst or the best. Have you seen in her anime? What? You've seen Harem anime, right? I've seen a few, yes. Generic protagonist mm -hmm. gets thrust into this thing. Yeah. Basically gets laid That's by That's what everyone. I mean. They either have to be terrible or they have to be great. There's no in-between. There's bland. Well, what's what I mean by terrible? Well, they've no. got nothing. They are not even a character. Well, I mean, she's pretty bland unless we give her personality. Yeah. So. Basically, she was perfect. Not like she was a robot or something, but she was the student that everyone else wanted to be. Lizette was bright, easygoing, and above all, had her future laid out right in front of her. Unlike the average student, she knew what she wanted to do after high school, and as a result, she was confident and ambitious. Though sometimes it could rub a lot of people the wrong way, like me, because she's a fucking bitch. I read ambitious wrong, I read it as a me boy. <laughs> I keep seeing it. What is wrong with you? I don't know. You're still thinking about Bio's ass, aren't you? Yes, probably. 
Moreover, I had known her ever since I was young, but it ultimately resulted in a rivalry that continued to this day. Of course, my friends knew what was between us, and upon seeing me glance at her, they shifted their attention to her. She doesn't even look like she's working, in my opinion. She probably is, but she's too much of a stuck-up priss to allow herself to look like she's actually doing work. That doesn't make any sense. I know. Oh, come on, Suzu. She may be a little off-putting, off -putting. but she's not the giant priss that you're making her seem to be. What's a priss? Uh, it's like, as in prissy, it's, it's kind of like... Uh, okay, you know that laugh that you're actually able to do that I can't? You mean... <laughs> That's a priss. Rude. <laughs> That is my um, anime female laugh. That's that's <laughs> basically what that term means. What's that supposed to mean? Ooh, sick burn. Look at our friend character's fucking stupid grin. Never mind. It's about time. Let's bail. Whoa! Mm. Gotta go fast. <laughs> hey, I'm the blue one. It's my <laughs> job. Unsurprisingly, Susano was the first out of the classroom, slinging her backpack over her shoulder with ease and sliding out of frame like a fucking bullet. You know what? I want to change the response to this one. And she always manages to be the first one out of the door. I don't think I'll ever understand that. Let's try me and you both. Yep, sure. Because we already know she's going to call us a delinquent. <laughs> because we want to leave soon? I know. She gave me a smile, as if relieved by the fact that I felt the same way as she did. It was good to lie to Two people. relationship points. <laughs> why can't she just be normal like the two of us? I think she's more normal. Yes, Naomi, we're so normal. 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 <laughs> I've just realized that our main character's hair is so close in shade to that weird vest thing that she's wearing that it looks as though she her hair drapes past her, sh her shirt. You're seeing it now, don't you? Not really, actually. That's, you see that? That's her hair. And it just kind of blends in with the weird vest thing that she's got Well, the vest is on. a bit dark, uh, lighter than... It is, but it's at a glance. I thought her hair actually extended all the way down to her hips. Well, them hips don't lie. What are you... Oh, never mind. <laughs> it's Susan O, Naomi. Think Very about true. it. <laughs> Man, you guys are slow. Are you coming or what? We heard you the first time. Not everyone has rocket boosters attached <laughs> to their legs when the bell rings. Are you kidding me? Oi! That class is what? ridiculously boring. Sorry, it's just even half that, like, of the stuff I said in this game does kill me. <laughs> hey, I have to admit I was spacing out, and just because I answered one question doesn't mean I'm automatically the valedictorian, but I am anyway. Exactly. Okay, so it wasn't too interesting. But you should at least pay attention when Phillips is talking about the important parts. And which parts were those? So you exactly. Do you even remember? Finally on the same wavelength. Welcome to the club, Patterson. Please, don't call me by my last name. This isn't the classroom. And never in a million years will we ever see things eye to eye. So we discussed this in the previous video. <laughs> the previous uh, boss Previous footage. attempt to record this. We don't know where the fuck this game takes place. We've got characters called Mika, Susano, and Naomi, and Miss Phillips. This isn't Japan, though, because they like prefer, they actually prefer prefer to each other by their first names. Yeah. So I don't it's... know what the fuck's going on there. It's weird. <laughs> Despite this, they both burst out in laughter. Yeah. Normally, anyone would think that opposites like them would never associate with each other. But even though they were so different, their friendship somehow made a lot of sense. Well, opposites attract. Trying to think of something clever. I, mean, I, got, <laughs> I got nothing. Got nothing. Maybe they were just perfect compliments. A personality just didn't dictate possibility of a friendship. After all, we three had been best friends since preschool, and we hate each other. All right. So where are we heading to first? <laughs> Cafeteria. I think we can all agree that we're really hungry, especially after hearing about our company's line of deliciously spicy bubble gum. Who would even buy that? I wonder. You're talking to her. Me. I would pay good money to get a taste of it. You do like spicy food, after all. We entered the cafeteria, a bustling room filled with the aromas of different kinds of food. As we got in line, we ordered our meals and chatted freely. 
cheese and the spicy chicken burger for me. That's my definition of a good meal. I'll take a tuna sandwich and some juice. You're probably going to need water or something to curb all that spicy flavor, Suzu. I can't be tamed by the likes of that. If it's spicy, then it's gotta be all or nothing. Hey, calm down now. You're crazy. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm crazy. I think I'm getting a migraine. You're both giving me a migraine. Please stop talking. I think I'll go with... The middle one. Are we gonna go with Wild Room Way? Yeah. Yeah, we go with mac and cheese and a soda. I've never had mac and cheese. Never, like... never in my life. Here it's nice. Once we get our food, we settle down at one of the empty tables, putting our backpacks aside to finally dig into the food. America. What? It said America. Why does it say that? Because I was looking at the wiki, even though it says unconfirmed, apparently she was the main character was born in Chicago. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Susan leaned back in her chair, tilting it back so that she could rest her feet on the table by her food. That is disgusting. All right then. Is I used to work to in one of those. I worked at the college kitchens, and I hated people like that who would fucking put their feet up on the table, and they would make the oh, worst yeah. messes. It's <laughs> bored terrible. Already. It's gross as well. Yeah, it's disgusting. Because someone has to put their food down on that after you've left. The only place worse is somewhere like McDonald's. <laughs> in terms of just like sheer volumes of mess on every fucking table. Yeah. I know. Let's talk about... Say boys and I will never speak to you ever again. Why? What's wrong with boys? Uh, why not? What's so interesting about talking about guys? Not like any of us are going to get boyfriends anytime soon. We don't know that. What if one of us does get a boyfriend? Like that's going to happen, Naomi. Look at us. I'm a tiny Italian. You're a Supposedly. <laughs> Supposedly. Exactly. <laughs> like her hair is orange. Okay. I've actually, I didn't realize something the first time. Mm -hmm. What does ditzy mean to you? Dumb. Isn't she the smart one? <laughs> This game is stupid. No offense. <laughs> and Anderson here. Well, I guess she could land a boyfriend or girlfriend if she wants. Or girlfriend? She can be a lesbian if she wants. Yeah, it's my choice. Apparently the um <laughs> Italian <laughs> True. is more open than our friend. Yep. Naomi. <laughs> the That's a case. Is no. blonde. I'm not sure I want a boyfriend yet. It's or a girlfriend. Here. Might as well get a boyfriend. Why not? Maybe she's just not interested in a relationship, Suzu. Well. It's not really that about wanting a relationship, but more that there's just nobody interesting enough to be in a relationship with, you know? They're all kind of fucking losers. Yeah, like everyone at the school. Like Not all, including you two. All the guys are pricks. I'm not interested in them or their pricks. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Time will tell. Maybe there's a guy out there who's not a prick. And now I do want his prick. <laughs> but Na maybe not today. Naomi looked at me, wanting to continue the conversation. However, before she could speak, the speakers of the cafeteria... That's a weird sentence. The speakers in the caf started up and an announcement echoed through the cafeteria. Miss Anderson, please come to the main office immediately. Please bring your things with you. Oh, ah, wow. shit. The popo has arrived. If the police... Like plans have been cut short. The men in white coats have finally come to get you. <laughs> I don't want to hear that from you. Susan, don't joke around. What if it's serious? <laughs> yeah, it could be anything. Yeah, happens. could be sense. anything. It's totally, we totally don't know what it is. <laughs> exactly, we have no clue whatsoever. <laughs> ah, fine. If something happens, just call us. Well, funnily enough, something did happen. And it was certainly no laughing matter. So don't you fucking laugh. <laughs> Cold. It was really cold. So cold. The rain became heavier that afternoon, accompanied by rolling thunder now and then. The skies had turned black, though I couldn't see any of it under the black umbrella. Not that I was looking up. In fact, looking up was the exact opposite of what I wanted to do. I stared at the grass beneath my feet, unable to look up at the people weeping around me. All I could see was the damp grass beneath my feet. Only the monotone eulogies that floated through my ears reminded me that I was at a funeral. It was only when the speeches ended that I, fi that I was finally able to raise my head. A small gathering of people, mostly made up of relatives that I didn't even know were related to me, 
what huddles around a simple, small grave. For a while, all I heard was the sound of raindrops on umbrellas. If it wasn't raining, everything would probably be in a heavy silence. I looked beside me, where my father was standing and holding up a large black umbrella for our small family of three. Now you told me something earlier. I don't. Can I mention it yet? Yeah. You said that he's literally just died this morning. So I didn't want to spoil it too soon. You know what? We'll leave, we'll we'll get to that. But trust me, you it, co- that it, co- you it comes up. It comes up. His face was emotionless. A strange sight next to my weeping mother. I wondered what was going through his mind. After all, etched into the smooth grey tombstone before us was his father's name. My grandfather, the one who raised me like his own daughter, had passed away that day. That's kind of weird if you think about it, considering both my parents are alive. Uh, the ceremony was small. Only close family were allowed to come. And yet, despite that, I don't recognize any of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's stupid. You would recognize your you cousin, know, at, least. at the same time. It's like, hey, Cousin Jimmy. Yeah, everyone has that Cousin Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, Cousin Jimmy's a dick. Fuck that guy. All right, slowly, though, people began to leave, leaving my father, mother, and me behind at the grave. A man dressed in a clean black suit under the uniform black umbrella of funeral attendees walked towards us, introducing himself as grandfather's lawyer. Man, wouldn't you just hate to be the one person at the funeral who only has a rainbow umbrella? <laughs> like, it, just... It's just, it's the most short notice funeral in the world and you're just like, it's the only one I've got. I'm sorry, it's like the only one. I was just at a production of Singing in the Rain. Like, what the fuck do you want from me? <laughs> 